Hey everyone, how's it going? It's the one and only Little Owl one here, and I decided to bring you a news video for one of my only times. Uh, now the reason for this is the fact that some stuff has happened in the motorsport community that I kind of feel the need to talk about as a motorsport fan. Firstly, you've got Nelson Piquet. Now, Nelson Piquet, well, it's not accused. It's literally proven that he dropped a racist slur twice on a podcast last year. It wasn't brought up at the time. I didn't know about it. It was brought up, and it was condemned worldwide nowadays, included by Hamilton himself. So, a lot of people are saying, why aren't Red Bull addressing this? They don't have to. Red Bull aren't inclined to address absolutely everything to do with F1, considering Nelson Piquet has absolutely nothing to do with them. He didn't drive for them. His sons both didn't drive for him. The only relation he has is his girlfriend. It's uh, sorry, not his girlfriend. Uh, his daughter is in a relationship with one of the drivers, and uh, that's nowhere near enough. Secondly. We got to uh, also. I'm hearing that PK is going to get banned from the paddock, which totally deserved. This sort of language is unacceptable. Now, the second thing that came out today is about Yuri Vips, who I'm going to be using as the thumbnail. I think Yuri Vips is probably the best person to use as the thumbnail. Now, the first thing is he. Well, it's not. It's not allegedly anymore. It's proven he did say it, and he has apologised since on his Instagram. But he dropped a racist slur. He dropped the N bomb on stream. It was on. It was on Liam Lawson's stream. Um, and but as you can guess, this is pretty much but well, it's not borderline. It's totally unacceptable. And as a result of this, a few weeks. About a week later, pretty much almost a week later, he has now been dropped from the Red Bull Junior team. Basically, his funding has pretty much been cut. So it's pretty clear to me that Yuri Vips has messed up big time, and his chances of getting into F1 are now very, very slim. Ah! <laughs> I got so close to the thing then. Oh no, he nicked my coin. Oh, all right, well. Uh, oh no, no. Okay, but yeah. So Yuri is... Do I believe Yuri Vips is a racist person? No, I believe that it just slipped out. And regarding the comments, quote, quote, I think he said the quote, pink is gay, I think was the quote he said. I don't agree with it. I love the colour pink. It's brilliant. Do I believe it's horrifically offensive though? No. I don't believe this is horrifically offensive. The other... The N-word one. That's no excuse. Should he have said the comment about pink? Probably not. I don't think it was a wise thing to say. But it's not terrible, let's be honest. Like, the N-word controversy is a lot bigger for him. Do I believe he'll lose his F2 seat? No, I personally believe he... Maybe a one-race ban, max. Because I think he can learn from this. I think he can learn from this. Now, a lot of people have been trying to cancel Liam Lawson. I'm a Carlin fan, so I'm going to be a little biased, but I am going to defend Liam on this. For me, Liam is simply just, it's a natural reaction. He's realised, oh no, my friend's just said that. People are going to go mad on the internet because this happened live on stream. And you can see it's almost just panic flashed through his face. Uh, I'm told Liam was actually part of the investigation. But yeah, Vips has now been dropped from all Red Bull related activities. Including his Red Bull Junior driver role and his test and reserve driver role. His chances of getting into F1 are now slim. 
as a result of one word. Not a good word, though. I'm not defending him. However, of course, you got to remember that he's young. I think he can learn from this experience. I think, in my opinion, it just slipped out. Not an excuse, of course. It shouldn't slip out. That word should not be slipping out. I think he had what I like to call a heated gamer moment with that word. Like, you remember PewDiePie? I think that's what happened here. And I think he'll learn from this. I don't believe his entire career deserves to be ended, but I personally think that he can learn from this. But he shot himself in the foot here. I doubt he'll get an F1 drive now. I mean, that's my take on the situation. I will see you all later.